Okay, so we're going to talk about going back to work. We're going to talk about planets. We're going to talk about posters. We're going to talk about postcards. We're going to talk about rings. We're going to talk about rings around the planets. We're going to talk about my time in second grade, wherein I had this really funky, cool teacher. He was a male teacher. We called him Mr. C. He had a 1970s perm. He wore a medallion, and he had a dog named Giuseppe. Okay guys, so I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I wanted to come back at you with a weird discovery that I made at work of like some seriously odd reality residue. Um, this just for your own edification is my desk at work, which if you can see it says March 2020 right here. And of course my, my backdrop is Shamrocks because my last day of work was St. Patrick's Day of 2020. And it would be eerie, except it's too cheery to be eerie, so eerie and cheery. <laughs> anyway, um, my residue of choice involves planets. So, to start at the very beginning, I've actually done two videos about this before because this is a really, really, really strong personal Mandela effect for me, and I would be curious to know if any of you guys had it or had the same remembrance that I did. But when I was a kid, I remember, well, I remember in high school getting a postcard of all of the planets, and... I remember it being on my wall and constantly looking at it, looking at this postcard and seeing nothing amiss. Now what do I mean when I say nothing amiss? My remembrance of these planets, and I should make it known that I started my YouTube channel in 2016 and the summer of 2017, I realized that as far as planets go, I'd had it wrong my entire life. Um, and 2017 is actually when my YouTube Mandela Effect videos, I mean video, my YouTube Mandela Effect um, YouTube channel started taking off more. But in any case, my entire life, I had always remembered Saturn and Jupiter to have rings. Not only just, not only just actual rings, but always depicted rings. And they always had the same heft of rings. In other words, any time a certain amount of rings was depicted around Saturn, it was the same around Jupiter. And I had never seen a chart like I'd never seen either a chart or a pic or a photo like a depicted photo or a doctored doctored photo minus rings around Saturn and Jupiter never around Neptune never around Uranus never around anything but Saturn and Jupiter it was the two big boys in the middle of our solar system now in this one of course you see the weeny teeny little rings depicted upon Jupiter here because they weren't playing, they weren't pulling any punches, they weren't cutting any corners, they were going to make note of all the residue around these planets. So in any case, the reason that I'm showing you pictures is that, in other words, depicted pictures and cartoonish pictures and postcard-like pictures is because, and it's just to show you, that rings are not depicted on two out of the, well, I guess it's now eight planets, they're not depicted any longer. But up until 2017, I had always thought it was two planets that rings were depicted around. And all of a sudden I looked around and I remember I was at the post office, not mailing out a postcard, <sighs> looked around again, this should have rings around it. Always, always, always. And I, and I felt like for a little second, I don't know these people. I don't know these people in this reality because if they don't remember both of the planets, both of the big boy planets in the center having rings, then this is not the same reality. Like I did not come from here. Um, so in any case, that's the reason why I'm showing like either cartoons or drawings. Don't complain about purity until you've had a spot, a spot for literally hundreds of years. That's so cute. I love personified planets the same way I love personified foodstuffs. Um, but anyway, so I remember and the crux of my memory was that in second grade, we had cardboard cutouts of the planets, which would also count as planetary depictions. So we had cardboard cutouts. Oh, and this looks like the postcard that I had on my wall when I was in high school. And they were kind of in the shadows and they kind of look like photos. And it looks like the postcard that I had on my wall, wherein I always remember seeing two planets depicted with rings. And then all of a sudden I looked at it again after I'd made the discovery that it was always only Saturn that was consistently depicted with rings. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, there's been a change. There's been a change to my reality. And again, I'd be really curious to know if any of you experienced that, if any of you ever remember both Saturn 
and Jupiter with rings. And again, rings of the same heft that are always notable and depicted. Now, the crux of the high strangeness regarding this ring, the ring discovery and the ring depiction, is that when I was in second grade, I remember we had these beautiful cardboard cutouts, these huge planetary cardboard cutouts on the dappled glass above the classroom. And again, as usual and as always, we had, there were two planets depicted with rings. Problem is, rings, the light rings that are sometimes depicted and sometimes not depicted, bear in mind I was in second grade in 1977, but again, the problem is, is that the rings that we had, or the rings that were discovered, such that they were always depicted, were not discovered until 1979. So that's a weird thing. I, well, that's a weird thing, too. I mean, second grade was a weird year anyway, because, like, I scored really high on the standardized tests along with this kid, this really pale kid with red hair. <laughs> he didn't look like an alien, but I was going to say he looked like an alien, but he didn't. And these men in suits came to talk to my teacher about the two of us. And I remember them standing out in the hall saying, oh, yeah, these two students did really well in the standardized test. But then I never remember hearing from them again. Or maybe I did hear from them again and I just don't remember. It was really strange. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like anything happened, but it was just really weird. So that said, it's just so strange. I don't know why. I have this memory my whole life of there being two consistently ringed planets, always depicted, and now all of a sudden, at the height of my YouTube channel for the Mandela Effect, then I discovered there was only one consistently depicted ringed planet. Get to looking at the posters in my office, and what do you see? Hollywood Bowl, Summer Festival of Music, 1982. Two planets with rings. This has to be Saturn, and this is probably Jupiter. Now, again, Jupiter looks weird because the rings are so close, so it's not exactly the depiction I remember. And the one behind it looks like a gobstopper, which is even more hilarious. Um, but it's just really strange. And then, of course, 1982, I guess if Saturn's rings had been discovered in 1979, it would still have been a hubbub. But those are some pretty strongly depicted rings around there. Somebody put some serious thought into that. So my heart jumped when I saw that. I just thought it was really cool re reality residue. I mean, timely fashionable in terms of when the rings were discovered, but even still very strange. And then there was this, pre this poster too. Not exactly uh, C-3PO, but close enough. Anyway, um, that's about it, you guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you know. And peace out.